we are building the single sprocket shaft assembly. For this step, you will need one 15 millimeter spacer, two three millimeter spacers, two short through bore bearings, one 10 tooth number 25 sprocket, a shaft collar, a 90 millimeter length of five millimeter hex shaft, and a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench. To get started with the step, you're gonna to wanna to take your shaft collar and the hex shaft. Put the shaft collar flush on the end of the hex shaft and tighten it in place. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that the shaft collar is flush with the end of the hex shaft for the rest of the piece placement for this subassembly. Next, you're gonna to wanna to take your short through bore bearing and slide that onto the shaft. Note the location of the flange relative to the shaft collar. This is gonna be important later on during the assembly. After that is done, you're gonna to wanna to take a three millimeter spacer, followed by your 10 tooth sprocket. Once the 10 tooth sprocket is on, you wanna take the 15 millimeter spacer, place that on, followed by another three millimeter spacer. Last piece is the remaining short through bore bearing, and you wanna slide that on. Also note its orientation is the opposite of the orientation of the previous short through bore bearing. Once it is done, the 90 millimeter single sprocket shaft assembly is complete. You will need to do one more 90 millimeter single sprocket shaft assembly to complete the drivetrain.